we're back. Part three, sorry, part four of the uh, how to build your own gym. We've got Oki this year. It took me a bit of a task to get him out, didn't it? So, part four. First of all, it's about accounting. So with the accounting stuff, so we we went with the trust trust account. So you've got one unit trust up here, which is Iron Oak itself, and then you've got two sort of family unit trusts. So you've got uh, Driscoll Family Trust and the Tempest Family Trust. So the basis of that, it costs a lot more to do it. I think it was like two thousand to set up the account. But if you if you do it, you can put say ten dollars. I think Iron Oak has ten dollars in the account. So if someone does want to sue you, um, they sue Iron Oak for ten dollars, and they can't really sue you personally or the Iron Oak, uh, the the family trust accounts and that. So the other side for legal things is get off the beanie. The other side for legal things is um, council. So you have to get council approval, um, and they can really stuff you around a fair bit. So plan on, plan on. Um, I think it took maybe 12 weeks to get our council approval. Council approval done. Uh, and it was $504, I wrote it down here somewhere. $504 just to go through council and that's even if they say no. So they'll put a sign up at the front of your thing. Like you would have seen some people or some businesses when you're walking around town, there'd be this yellow sign. It'll say, uh, the council, um, Council of Ballarat, whatever it is, and you've got what what you're doing, um, if there's any people that object, and then you have to, if there's people that object, you know, they'll go to the council and stuff like that. So that stays up for, I think it's two to four weeks, and then they take that down there. Oh, stop nibbling on me. He's hungry, he's, he's wanting some gains. Yeah. One of the questions that I asked from the last one was about, and if we had any hiccups, so, the major hiccup for us, I think, was tradies and like just any any sort of person that come in, involved with computers and stuff like that. So they muck you around so much. So like I said in the last video, if you have someone that's really reliable or someone you really trust, best thing you can do because otherwise it just drags you out. They're like, yeah, we'll be there Monday, and then it turns into Friday, and then they ah, get out. <laughs> what? Um, and it turns into the next week and then the following week after that, but that was the only real hiccup we had. Um, everything else sort of ran pretty smoothly. Don't. Um, or even just, not that we left on bad terms with, with the company we were with, because uh, we were both there and he was manager and I was PT. Um, they can tend to you know, try and force some legal stuff on you. Like you can't PT in a certain surrounding area and stuff like that. And the final thing we'll finish with is the hardest thing, or the, the, the biggest hiccup you have with, with the business, well, well, personally for me, was just getting it started. So everybody has a thought, but it's like commit, committing pro, you know, process of just going for it. Because it's a pretty scary thought. Like, you know, everyone's secure. It's the same, it's the same for everything. You go from a nine to five job to starting your own business. You got to secure your income, but you might not like it, and you want to follow your dreams. It's it's one of those things. Moving forward, we do hope to to do our own gym, or our second gym somewhere. Um, so we're currently looking at a few locations now. Previously, we did look at our app, but on the same week we were going to sign a lease agreement. Uh, Any time fitness went there, so we sort of dodged a bullet with that one. But um, that's pretty pretty well it, guys. If uh, if if you want any more of these types of videos or anything other other questions, chuck them down in the comments below, um, like Lachlan did before, and uh, yeah, that's pretty well it, don't forget, be a bit of you, thanks guys. Hey, my name's Brennan, but you have to call me Dragon.